Because remember, you guys, it is essential. The more we push, the more we remove, the better the final snatching will be. The thumb. I forgot about the thumb. It's important to do the thumb, too. Too close on off of camera. Too close? I'm oh, sorry. So we're going to use the diamond flame bit from the Russian manicure drill bit set that I have here somewhere. I had it ready. Where did she go? Hello, hello. Are you guys ready for 4th of July? Also, today is the last day for the 25% off the Happy Gel sale. You guys have until midnight tonight to take advantage using promo code HAPPY25. Want to zoom out a little bit because she's a little too close. There we go. better so that way I don't hit it so much. Is that good? Yes, it looks like it. So we're gonna go in, go up and down the side walls to remove all that crusty molesty. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually declog your bit while you're working. This tends to happen while we're working and we get really super busy and the client has a lot of crusties. What you do is you take the foam from one of your buffers, whether it be a smoothie buffer or a regular buffer, you press down firmly and you go in and out a lot actually. And you can see it actually declogs a bit. Isn't that cool? Este ya no duele, ¿verdad? El otro lo voy a tirar porque ya está doblada la punta. Thank you, Marta Costa, por vernos. Thank you, thank you. Come on, you guys, let's like and share. I'm using my drill bit at about 7,000 RPM at almost a five degree angle on the nail bed to slightly push up and remove any dry non-living tissue and also prep the nail bed for application. Very Hi, Hi. such an important step that I feel like a lot of times we forget to do is really go in and create a beautiful canvas for our work doesn't it how is your guys' hum day too have you guys been staying out of trouble Is the angle good too? Let me know in the comments. Well, it's a bit of a telephone or the Facebook. That's what it's also.
really take your time when doing this, you guys. And you use your drill bit super slow with absolutely no pressure. Let the machine do the work for you, okay? This is what we call... Very easy. I have all the products. Awesome. Thank you. This is what we call a Russian manicure. But over there, they don't call it a Russian manicure. They call it a hardware manicure. Also, let me know in the comments, you guys, if you get notifications when I went live today. Because it seems that Facebook changed their algorithm once more. Once we think we got it, nope, there they go and change again. Hello, hello. Look at that doesn't clean. Okay, the Cherry Lynn. Hi. We're going to declog it, take it into the foam. So you good as new. If you find that you have a little bit of foam left, go up and speed a little bit, just a little bit, and press down firm and go in and out really fast. And that will declog it really nicely. Mr. Ramona, if you have issues with your hand, like carpal tunnel? Me? Um, thank God I don't have like serious carpal tunnel or anything like that, but my hands do get a little sore from numb or tingly from working all day, and that includes like typing and doing nails. My mom does though. Joe Williams is watching. Hi. Alisa Clinton. Sherilyn. I'm just going to remove all that dry, non-living tissue. I think anybody that's been doing nails for 20 years has hand problems. Deborah Bexin. Zyra Mesa. You say, hello, Marge. I have my nails. Dr. Coffin. Super excited to have them. Awesome. Are you guys loving the French? There is a tiny little delay with the black French, but we're going to be updating everybody for that. Uh, Pre-order released, like, I think tomorrow. So rest assured, it'll probably be going out, I think, next week. But there's just a tiny little delay, and I was like, great, only those kinds of things happen to me. Thank you, Marge. You're the best teacher. Oh, I appreciate that. She said, our senior Owen is watching. You're my big girl. Hi. But we will be uh, doing something for the girl that did the pre-order that unfortunately had to wait a little bit longer, but thank God it's not three months. Hello, hello. Very gently over the dry skin. Hi from Chicago, un saludo. Hi. 
high. We're going to use a 150 to just really gently file the top surface of her nail. And I did leave a little bit of gel on her nail because I don't like to take it all the way down. Usually I do, but her nail is already super thin from wearing our acrylics for 100 years. Start next part. So the great thing about 123GO is those of us that do it for a living, it's so much less of strain on your body, you guys. And then I said, okay, I, I am hamster dancing with the music. It's got you going. And then I had to change the speed too, so that way the video won't get taken down. You guys know when you've been doing nails for a long time, like the girls, it gets painful, it gets sore, you get numb, especially if you sit for long periods of time and you ain't got no fanny. And this really lets you work so comfortably with such little effort and still yield a beautiful result that lasts a really long time. Hi, this is Marisolina Wachi, Laura Guerro. Hey, how are you? Hi, sweetie. One cut of primer. Mm -hmm. Vivian of Wine Art Gold. Hi, Vivian. Now we're going to go in with MG. one coat of pink press on gel. Oh, can you see them? Oh my god, look at my legs. As I'm also wearing Gucci Crocs, actually. Is that Johnny Excited about the Oh, it's so dope. It has a really light smell, too. I really wanted to make it really, really sweet and overpowering and scented, but I felt that that might turn some people off, so we made a very light floral fragrance actually. Super, super light. And we're actually going to launch it at the same time we're going to launch our Petty Pack. Which are all the great things that you need to do the pedicures to snatch up the feet. already they look so much healthier. Listen, Max, your legs are in the background of the hand. Uh-oh. So what? Uh, Modesty is the best policy. So go ahead and turn the hand upside down. Look at him, look at this. Más al revés, para que queden bien. Sí, bonitas en la gente. Más sanas.
little bit too much right here. Skinny. We don't want the nail looking all wide and pregnant. We want our head and two curtain spanks on. Pregnant first. We're gonna bake that one minute inside the dazzling darling lamp. We're going to glue them on. We're gonna use the other one, ciao. Pinch the nail a little bit for the fantasy. So we don't want to pinch too hard when we're working with the French or with the ombre nails. What we want to do is almost roll it, okay? Because these nails are actually spray painted with a layer of shiny on top to seal. So what we're going to do is very gently, very firmly roll it on the nail bed portion. So that way we don't crack the nail. See? It gives you more of a secret. Can we see that? There's a camera picking it up. Oh my gosh, she's not reading the comments. Oh yeah. Super bog, what's that? Roll it very gently, but very firmly. So that way, we get a nice C curve. There we go. And our nails are pre etched already, so you don't have to do anything to the inside. Jojo, the thing is that a unicorn nail is a 2D effect nail. It looks like a unicorn heart. I have no idea what that is. We're going to take a little bit of DIY, Joe. I'm going to leave a little bit of space to the cuticle area so that we can blend. And freeze. Remember, because these nails are French, we do want to freeze for just a little bit longer because the light has to penetrate through the opacity or the sheerness, because it's not fully opaque, but it's not fully sheer, of the nail bed. Beautiful. Is it DIY-free? Yes, all of our are free. No, no tienes que repetir los mismos nombres cinco mil veces. Es que no los pones, pero es que no pones atención. I swear, one of the worst models. Not reading comments.
from Brisbane. Love your oh, thank you, sweetie. Make sure it is nice and straight. Awesome, I hope you love it. Is that like a happy gel for me? Nope. Not at all. So DIY gel is specifically designed for the one two go system. It's actually been out for a little bit already. Which is your favorite tip? Which is my favorite what? What is your favorite tip? What tip? My favorite nail or what's yeah, the question? Anything that I make. Mm, I don't think I have necessarily just one favorite. It's like asking someone what their favorite kid is. Just one. Beautiful and pretty. Over on the inside. Okay. Beautiful. So now we're going to turn the hat upside down and we're going to hide that line of demarcation using. Laura, get on the Who is that? Just tell you the same thing. Dalia. We're going to do a little bit of pink press on gel on the inside, and this is going to hide the shadow. It's like concealer. We're going to apply it right here. Concentrate it right there on that line of demarcation. My son little is watching. I see Marcelino. Hello, hello. Miranda, because it's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> uh no she just wants plain french she doesn't get out much anymore actually now that she's really taking care of my dad a lot the only place she goes to her doctor's appointments Rose Zoria is watching. hi Daniel Robinson said I'm so happy I can you like oh thank you Amanda Love is watching I'm taking a liner brush. I'm using the pink one from the Vegan 4 pack. And I'm really concentrating that gel right here along the smile line. So that way I can hide the liner demarcation.
Why are you turning your hand the other way? Hello, hello. Danielle Robinson, I'm loving the new press on gel in the tube. Isn't DIY incredible? I'm a huge fan of DIY gel. See, now it is giving you the illusion. Not at all, it isn't much. I'm always watching and learning. Oh, thank you. I try. Carol more washing. I try to provide the education. So that we're always improving, always doing more, always doing the most, always doing the best. Yes, the star love. He puts more love. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Let's bake that 30 seconds. And we're going to do a layer of shiny on the inside too to seal the pink press on gel. And make sure it's not sticky because remember, DIY gel and press on gel are both sticky they're not tack free products so we have to put a gel on top to make sure they're sealed and you can use shiny or wonder but to seal the french i actually really like using wonder because wonder as you guys know is a rubber based top coat so she's a little bit thicker is she turning her hand upside down? Not yet. She will right now in a minute. So right now I'm just taking shiny gel and I'm applying it all over the inside of the one, two, three, go now. And just a nice coat, a nice thin coat, just to seal the gel on the inside. Alicia Vasquez Robin right there, so I just come in. Hi. Okay, now we're gonna do the inside for 30 seconds. Today's price, and it's even cut up press on gel and two words for gracias. Y pronto va a estar disponible en rosa. Who is excited for the press on gel in pink? Who is excited for press on gel in the bigger tube? Beautiful, look at that. Now, it, there is absolutely no lines of demarcation. It just looks like a perfect nail bed. Look at that. So sickening. Make sure there's nothing stuck to the sides. Remember, when we're filing the French and when we're filing the ombre nails, you guys, we want to file just very, very little to tailor the nail to fit perfectly. Because that white and that ombre effect are hand painted, so we don't want it to come off, okay? Beautiful. Pronto, pronto. Ah, 
I don't think he's going on the Dirk Person gel bottle. No. Correct. We don't have any plans to make any larger press-on gels or make a press-on gel and a refill. Because of the consistency and the nature of the product, it's really hard to try to fill it yourself. Bye, Leo. Don't party too much. Promise? And in that cuticle. Yes, my favorite. We're going to use first the pink carrot bit. At about 17,000 RPM. Around the cuticle area and around the seam. This is why it's so important to leave a tiny little bit of space at the cuticle so that way we can really go in and blend and just get a really flawless sculpted looking nail finish. When the salon was asking if you will be coming up with other diamond gel colors. Diamond gel? What's that? Like flash? The flash gels, the reflective diamond glitter gels? Those ones, sweetie? They're in five, six, seven, eight colors right now, and I am working on another four. And the four new ones are, are all like pinkish beige colors, very like nudes. Maybe a black one. I'm not sure about that yet, but I don't want to make colors that no one's going to use too. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay, a, like a neon blue flash gel is cool, but in reality, how many of your clients are actually going to really want that? Do you know what I mean? We really want to make stuff that people will be using all the time and stuff that you're not stuck with too because a lot of times us as nail techs, we buy stuff just because we think it's cool and then never end up using it and it just sits there in a drawer collecting dust. And that's not what we're about. We want to make sure that what you invest is going to make you a lot of money so that way you can buy more bottles. Remember, jerseys and purple are lemon. Uh, we already have a lavender and an opal. I'm gonna use a mixer bit right now. I'm just gonna push back one more time. Chantal, is it why do you paint the bottoms? To hide the line of demarcation between the pink and the white. So that way it looks like her nail bed is perfect. Let's go. I'm gonna turn the drill at about 14,000 RPM. I'm gonna go in and really blend out that cuticle. Get it photoshopped. Make sure there is no product stuck to the skin, okay? So as you guys can see, her hand is really stiff and that is partly because she doesn't stick her elbow out. If she stuck her elbow out, it would actually make the application a lot more easy and convenient. Ugh, but look at that blend though. Can we get a moment of silence for that cuticle? Like, so sick. Saca el codo! Ahí está. You can see now when she sticks her elbow out, because a lot of times people will do this with their hand, look. And they'll stick their elbow out and they'll put it out straight. And that makes the hand crooked, actually. So that way you have to work harder. So if your client sticks her elbow out, it actually makes the hand straight across you, like this. So it's more comfortable for you. Saca el codo, pon la mano así, mira. Pero más cerca a mí. Ahí 
sure there is nothing stuck to the skin. There we go. Very gently. At a medium speed, go in and blend. Beautiful. Mm, thank you, and I love to share my knowledge. I have a lot to share. I think that's what makes our product so different too, is that we're willing to share with you guys too, like everything we do. And we always try to be, you know, upfront, and I want you guys to have the best result possible, so that way you guys don't have to email and ask, how do you do this or how do you do that? Because if I make you a better nail tech, then I become a better tech too. Because I love to stay on the cutting edge of everything too, and I love to update things, like our packaging too. Very gently, for the most part. Go in and blend. And we're going to stop the one to go to tips. Yes, I will. And when the restock is ready, we'll be posting it on our stories on both Instagram and Facebook. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And of course, our daily lives. There we go. Now she is blended. So we're going to take a very smooth file. I'm going to use a 180. Make sure the sides are nice and straight. Kimberly George is I've been learning a lot from you, Max. My nail lady is so upset. Well, because I do my own nails. <laughs> That's funny. But only the best, right? She's not using enocouture.com then. Things had to change. I don't blame you. Have you guys seen the new Conjuring movie? Remove the dust really well. Mm -hmm. 
And then take a little bit of nail prep. I'm gonna go around the cuticle area to really blend in that cuticle, okay? Because you do not buff the top surface of these nails. There is no need. And that would also remove the French or the ombre effect of them. Really? Is it scary? <laughs> on uh, YouTube, they had Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion, and I was like, I want to watch that. But I got busy, so I don't have time to watch it, but hopefully I get to watch it today. Oh, I invented post-its. Let that dry, and then we're going to go in with one nice layer of Wonder Gel. Looks just like a sculpted acrylic nail. So when I apply the top coat around the cuticle area, I actually angle the nail down so that way it runs away from the cuticle and then I go down into the body of the nail. Matt, what did you say for between Wonder Gel and China? I would suggest um, check out the website and get the full description so that way it explains it to you really well but Wonder Gel is made out of rubber and shiny is thinner. I think it's essential to have both and we actually have another gel top coat coming out this year too which is a super duper thick gel top coat. Great for like glitters, great for stickers great for people that like the plumping gel mani because I know I love a thick gel manicure. It helps uh, remove the dust and also blends it in just a little bit more because you can't buff the top surface of the nail. Aren't they? Don't they look like a sculpted pink and white set? Wow, look at that shine. Okay, turn the hand upside down. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything is nice and even. There's no product that might have ran off to the sides. Beautiful. Let's bake that for one minute inside the Dazzle and Grounding Lab. What do you guys think? Let me read the comments because she didn't do a good job. Let me exit the video and then come back in and see if that fixes the comments. Max, ¿para qué pones el primer antes del brillo? No era primer, era deshidratador. Y lo pongo en área de la cutícula para ayudar a que se derrita más y quitar cualquier parte de polvo. Product description is on the website. Yes, she is. That part scared me. Uh, playing live recording of the exorcism. Oh my gosh. Mm. 
Yes, it does. Hi, Max. Hi, sweetie. Amaze balls. I know it's free on HBO right now, but I have not uh, seen it. One of the Black Friends shipping out. They are shipping out, I do believe, next week. You're going to get an email tomorrow with the updates. There is a tiny little delay, but you will be updated tomorrow in all the emails that we will send out to everybody that did a pre-order, along with any like questions that you may have or anything like that. They'll I'll be able to assist you, but it's not super delayed, just like... A few days so thank you for waiting I like the fact that you come on every day and show us how to use your products that's right so remember after the hand comes out of the lamp we're gonna wait 10 seconds and then apply cuticle oil because if you apply cuticle oil as soon as the hand comes out of the lamp that will dull the nail it'll take away that shine that we won't And then wipe it away. I know we want to wipe towards us, but we want to keep that shine, the integrity of the phalange. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. Let me move the camera over this way. Let me turn on the hard light. There she is, look at that. What do you guys think? Do these look like sculpted pink and whites or what? And that smile line is no joke. Show the thumb mom. There we go. Look at that cuticle blend though, you guys. The sides, oh, so stunning. Good job, Max. Pat on the back for me. I'm very proud. Because doing my mom's nails is really hard because her hands are as stiff as a rip. Let's get a little bit more lighting for you guys, though. Because I want you to see that top surface. Wow, look at that. That color of the nail bed, too, is just stunning. Wow, that is the fantasy right there. Wow. Do you guys love our French nails? Look at that, you guys. Wow, beautiful. What shape did she get again? This is the French almond, the regular one. And you guys can do this too because it's actually really easy. Now you guys know all the secrets, all the tricks. And remember that if the client has really stiff hands, have her stick her elbow out. That's going to make a huge difference when applying the nails. And that's going to be a wrap, you guys, because we've got to go on the gram now and show the girls on the gram how to do the French nails. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this French demo because she is classy. And I will see you guys in the next live video. Bye, everybody.